Hey guys, it's me, The Mouse Hunter, and I am here in my new studio. I can't wait to make videos for you guys here. We're gonna make art, craft, science experiments, who knows what we're gonna make here. But today, I am making false snow. So this is one I made earlier. It is a deeper blue. Um, so I am going to make one that is bigger and better, just for tint of blue. I have my Insta Snow Powder, also called Sodium, I don't know what that says. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be making this. And you can buy this online, um, really anywhere online. All you have to look up is Insta Snow Powder and you'll probably find it. Um, you just need to try this out for yourself though. It's so much fun, but I'm gonna be showing you the re results today. So right now I am going to start us off by opening the container. Of course. Um, I need my measuring cup because I like to do two cups. So we're going to do one cup. Two cup. And I'm going to do a little bit more just to see if we go better results. Here is how much powder I put in. It's pretty much a lot. This part, you need to pay attention if you're gonna make this. Okay, so you're gonna take your water and you're gonna take this. Do not dump your water in slowly. Pour it in as fast as you can without spilling as much as possible so you get better results. So I'm just gonna. See how that starts popping up? And I think it's ready. So you can tap your test tube a few times. If you don't have a test tube, you can use a cup. Um, both are fine, but right now we're gonna see how this snow turned out. So, I have a plastic baggie that I'm gonna use. I'm just gonna put this right here. I love to use plastic baggies. I do not recommend putting this on the floor or on a table after it foams up because it can get smushed and when it gets smushed, if it's in little crevices, I do not recommend that because it's really hard to clean off um, and really hard to get off your carpet. So I recommend putting it in a bag before you play with it. So here's my snow, and let's see what it feels like. See, if you can look really closely, there's like a watercolor blue tint, which is amazing. Oh my gosh, guys, this feels like baby powder. It's so soft and smooth. It's literally like a blanket. Like, there's really no way to describe this, so I very much recommend that you try this at home, see what happens for yourself. Remember, do more powder than water because it can rise very slowly if you don't. This was so fun to play with. I highly recommend making this, but also I do recommend playing with this outside. I do not recommend playing with it inside like I did in my studio. Um, I, as you can see, I have everything I need to clean this up. Um, I'm probably going to vacuum the floors because I got some on the floor. Um, but Yes, so I highly recommend this. It's so soft. Um, I love playing with it. If you like this video, make sure you click that subscribe button and hit. Wait, is, the, is it on? Hey, if you like this video, make sure you click that subscribe button, turn on post notifications so you never miss a video, and remember, keep. If you like this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications so you never miss a video, and make sure to hit that like button, and remember, keep on hunting.